Dear boy, do you despise cheaters as much as we do? No, 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 no! If you're a functioning human, the answer must be yes. They're the video game equivalent of bullies, provoking a universal reaction of absolute disgust. <laughs> oh! And if you're like us, you probably relish seeing a bully smash their face against the sweet wall of karma. If that's the case, then we've got a juicy story for you today. But first, take a look at this clip and try to figure out what's going on. <laughs> at a first glance, it would seem that rotten boobies just got up blasted from somewhere, with nothing particularly odd happening. But if you take a closer look at this little short film, you'll realise that the explosion, presumably Giant's Flame Take Thee, came from fricking nowhere. Not only did it manifest into thin air like Chris Hansen used to do when confronting the scum of the earth, it was strong enough to deal 1900 damage to a character wearing some of the strongest armour in the game. Something smelled very fishy here. And it wasn't rotten boobies hoo-ha. I heard that, you little blue piece of shit. It's not the first time we've delved into the world of cheaters on this channel, and it likely won't be the last, especially with the DLC on the horizon. There's something immensely satisfying about Take delivering that. a well-deserved comeuppance to a smelly, bloated loser. So let's do just that! But before delivering divine justice to some smelly basement dweller, let's do the mystery thingy segment. Thank you for engaging with the game so much, little heliports. You're keeping Rani happy, which, by extension, allows me to keep paying my rent. <laughs> the mystery thingy of our last video was the Zaymor curved sword. So big congrats to the shiny snowballs who answered correctly. Here's the new mystery thingy for our next segment. And also, a word from our delightful sponsor. We've got less than 20 days until the DLC comes out. Do you want to play that sh on day one? I wanna! I wanna! I wanna! But oh no, you spent your last allowance on a Naruto cosplay for Comic-Con and now you're broke? Well, this is your lucky day, my little weeaboo, because Instant Gaming has got you covered. Instant Gaming is a website with over 10 million satisfied customers who opted to turn their back on overinflated retail prices and focus on a better shopping experience. With 24 7 customer support and great trust pilot reviews, Instant Gaming offers amazing discounts on all games, game cards, and subscriptions for every platform on the market. It doesn't matter if you have a framed picture of Bill Gates or Game. Gabe Newell in your basement wall. Instant gaming does not That's discriminate. But wait, there's more. By clicking my special link in the description or pinned comment and simply creating an account, you'll participate in a free giveaway where the winner will get to choose a prize of their preference. So, who knows? Maybe you'll just win that DLC. <laughs> The winner will be chosen at random by the system at the end of the month, so don't waste your time. Big thanks to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. Well, I suppose I get to narrate this since I experienced it firsthand. Get it? Hand of millennia? Ugh, fuck you. It all started when we were testing a dex build using Qatar mixed with barbaric roar. The amount of impaled your that came out of this build is insane. But that's a topic for another video. So we invade the world of a fan of the company afraid of the number three and his loyal sidekick. Immediately, we prepare to throw hands with the sidekick as the host is seemingly hiding his unwashed in a bush or something. Then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a literal nuke explodes in my face. The circumstances were sussy as hell and the damage was absolutely nuts. This couldn't just stay this way. So we had to reinvade these drooling ghouls and get to the bottom of this. But this time we're using an additional trick, special for these slimy goobers. Hey, wide hips, can you explain the trick? I've got no idea how it works. Uh, wide hips? There is a little glitch called the chainsaw glitch, which, uh, well, just take a look for yourself. It basically creates a giant hitbox in front of you that deals massive damage. Almost anything that comes in contact with it will instantly die.
it's probably the worst glitch Elden Ring has to offer, but when we're talking about cheaters, like the one you're about to see in this video, we have to use every trick in the book. If you'd like to learn more about the glitch, we will link this video at the end so you can watch it. Back to you, Lady Rotties. This is not rot, they're tattoos. Our second visit to the Virgin Manor has us immediately pull out the chainsaw because we are now aware that we are dealing with absolute cheating scum. There he is. He was invisible the whole time, but not normal latency and visibility, because at the very least in that case, he would be targetable. This guy cannot even be targeted. So there's something else going on. Our guess for the moment was that the lard container was using an invisible cloak the size of a country flag to cover his flabby body. So we proceed to the staircase, dong in hand and swinging it left and right to try and localize the tumor. We get rid of this skid mark sidekick in the process, though no luck on the main mutant. Sadly, as we're climbing the stairs, another atomic fart sends us to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> still without information of where this loser might be. On our third excursion to Loser Khan, we protect ourselves with some Paco Rabanne fragrance to avoid sudden one-shots from beyond the fart fog. We climb the stairs, assuming that the two vermin are hiding next to the site of Grace, when all of a sudden a Karen starts screeching in the stairs. <coughs> our invisible gooner must have ripped off his fourth <coughs> or something. However, this cacophony gave us confirmation of his location and alleged invisibility, so we step away and attempt to swipe the place with our giant invisible dong, only to be stopped by the invisible virgin sidekick. <coughs> After resetting and repositioning for more crazy lumberjack action, we notice something. That slimy son of a t is not invisible. He's inside the staircase. Somehow he made his way there and is griefing people with his blatantly cheated stats from an unreachable spot. We now have the information we needed to get this far. While swiping the stairs, we get rid of the discount overweight Robin. And notice that our staircase humping loser can actually bleed. Sadly for us though, another one of his stink bombs neutralized us before we could finish the job. Next time, we're gonna get him. For our final deep dive into the cesspool, we confirm the location of our smelly villain by seeing him produce static out of his gooning session inside the stairs. The plan, of course, is to swipe the stairs from the side and cover as big of an angle as possible, but his loyal dong rider was not willing to let that happen, as he keeps throwing his fecal matter at us like the chimp he is, interrupting what could have been a game over for the stairs lover. In a fit of desperation, his sidekick finally has his balls drop and tries to duel us without the help of his buddy. Needless to say, he sucked big donkey balls at fighting, and his friend can only screech while watching him disintegrate. Naturally, as it is with these types of invasions, after dealing with the sidekick, we took the precaution of blocking his Steam account from the session, because as you might guess, the host was trying to resummon him. Blocking his account prevents said resummon and allows us to deal with this little rat. The evil has been finally defeated. <gasps> Yahtzee!